Okay, here we'll break down um, some of the key components that are essential to the RD1 system. Um, I'll point out some important features that distinguish this device from some of the other units on the market. Uh, we'll start with our regulators. So again, in oxygen only mode, which is how uh, the device was originally intended, uh, we've got a simple unbalanced piston regulator, uh, pressure gauge, we use the little button gauges because of course they're not needed all too frequently in rebreather diving, um, and a short 12 inch low pressure hose. On the bailout side, so it's a, the dedicated uh, bailout cylinder that we carry, unbalanced uh, piston first stage, we have a balanced uh, but not adjustable second stage worn on a necklace and another button style gauge. Those gauges would come over the shoulders and sit um, sit high on the chest so they're easy to just glance at and view quickly. The counter lungs are very similar to a uh, MSR style bag, the same threads as the MSR style counter lungs that have been used in other systems. Uh, this is incredibly durable uh, fabric embedded uh, polyurethane material that, um, I mean, it's so robust you can drag a knife over it, which I'll do in a future video, and it won't cut. Um, there's a variety of grommets there, so it can be positioned um, to your liking to satisfy your worker breathing needs, whether it be a little bit higher, a little bit lower, a little bit wider on the back. Um, you have all that adjustment capability with this system. Uh, the T-pieces are um, very high quality Delrin. Uh, both T-pieces, both inhale and exhale, uh, are baffled on the inside. So on the exhale side, of course, any water ingress will track back into a counter lung. On the inhale side, if there were ever that severe of a flood that caused um, a really aggressive caustic cocktail, uh, that caustic mess would hit that baffle and make its way into the inhale counter lung. So having baffles on both T-pieces um, can be very important to protect the diver from a number of different situations. Uh, on the pressure relief valve T-piece, there's two small set screws. You just loosen those up with an Allen key and then you can adjust this to suit. If you want it all the way closed, um, it's just righty tighty, it's all the way closed. If you want it to vent aggressively, uh, you can loosen it way up and you just close your set screws. That adjustment's made during pre-dive uh, and then off you go. There are standoffs here so that the lungs uh, won't collapse and close off the T-piece. Uh, on the gas addition regulator, uh, the, it's just a standard, uh, standard second stage. So this is dive shop serviceable. Um, There's no special or proprietary parts here. Just your standard regulator. And um, yeah, any dive shop can tackle that one. Uh, on the counter lungs, we can optionally add pressure relief valves uh, or dump valves down low on either side so that if you want the ability to dump a lung, if you had that catastrophic of a flood, you can do that. Um, our DSV is a very smooth one-handed operation. Uh, and we've incorporated these 120 degree stubs for the hoses that swivel. So this makes it an incredibly comfortable uh, DSV. So even while you're diving, you can adjust the hose position. Um, the DSV is also uh, user switchable from right to left or left to right. My philosophy with this rebreather is to breathe right to left. Um, if you strongly believed in left to right, the entire system can be reversed to breathe left to right uh, very easily. The breathing hoses are high quality EPDM hoses, inch and a half ID, and they're ultra stretch. So they go from 10 and a half inches out to 30 inches. Um, so very, very comfortable on the diver. Uh, 
this is our spine or our chassis. It's anodized aluminum. Uh, there are holes and slots for studs to make your adjustments for your specific backplate or BC or backpack. These slots are cut at two inches to accommodate uh, your standard cam bands. Um, I tend to use hose clamps on my unit, but you can fit cam bands. Um, and there's a variety of options for different size cylinders and so on. The scrubber is uh, cast acrylic, very high quality, it's very thick, um, it's about a half inch thick acrylic. Uh, inside you've got a couple of screens and threaded rods so you can simply just um, put the bottom screen in, fill your sorb, put the top screen in, work the absorbent down and crank down the wing nut. Uh, it's sleeved with a neoprene sleeve, both for protection and some insulation value. And the lids, both the inhale and exhale, uh, they're double O-ring sealed. Because it's a clear scrubber, you can see the O-rings and make sure that you have a good seal. Um, so you can you know, visually observe for contact along that sealing surface. Um, you can also see what's going on with your scrubber. So if it's ca you know, catastrophically flooded, um, you'd be able to see that, or you'd be able to see any channeling as you pack the scrubber during your pre-dive, or if you're using indicating sorb, you would see that reaction front tracking. So having a clear scrubber is a really, really nice feature. On the inhalation lid, we have this, um, it's an optional cell holder, or we call it a sensor carriage. It basically just friction fits to the inside there. You can fit three or four Molex style sensors. Uh, and then both lids have uh, ports to allow pass-throughs of uh, cables or have other gas fittings or whatever you feel is appropriate. So we have, we've made up a variety of uh, ports. We have standard uh, you know, your 3 8 24 UNF, we have 9 16 18, we have PG7, M12, um, quarter NPT. Uh, so, any number of fittings that are used in diving commonly, but we have the port or an adapter to pass that through our lid. So, it makes it very easy to install the cable of choice or fit various gas fittings uh, for future things down the road. And to show you an example of uh, one lid that's been fit out, this was for a, a, a inside of one of our underwater habitats, which is fan driven. We've got our sensor carriage with a fan to circulate um, the gas through, but you can see how we wired everything through. So we've got a, um, a Molex harness passing through and then power for our fan. And there's just the cables passing through. So anything similar can be done with any type of cables um, using any whatever the fittings that are standard in your area um, and are available we can accommodate.